What's going on, everybody? Jacob here. Welcome to uh, Two Point Hospital, uh, a hospital simulation game. It looked pretty interesting. It had like a kind of a humorous tone to it. It's pretty much a hospital management sim, so I'm pretty much into the sim type game, type game. So I guess I'll check it out, see how it is. Um, I'm trying something new out with my camera, so no promises on my quality. Uh, down here on the bottom of the screen, so just ignore that if it gets out of control. And I'll try to make the most of it. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and get things started. Oh, At Two God. Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by oh, okay. compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mmm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go uh, play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. Well, this place just looks amazing. Bright white screen. Oh, much better. What's this? Welcome to Tea Point County. I'm Albert Crane. I'll be your trusty advisor on this journey. Okay. This is Hogsport, and here at your first hospital. Click on it and get started. Um, okay, cool. Learning the basics. Oh, sounds simple enough. Start building your first hospital. Okay. First things first, you'll probably want to have a look around, move around the hospital, blah blah blah, controls, yeah. Mouse, pitch, zoom in and out. Oh yeah, good stuff. Alright. Reception, patients will head there. Yeah, I need a reception desk. Items. Thousand dollars. Right, where's a good spot for the receptionist? Okay, well it'll be right here in the corner, obviously. Well, you would think, yeah, that'd be a good spot for it. Then you have a spot for another one if you need it. And now we need to hire an assistant. All this emotional intelligence, motivation. Oh, he's really expensive. But, <laughs> yeah, I'll go with four thousand dollar dude. General practitioner's office for uh, opening a GP. Patients will visit the doctor working as a general practitioner at each stage of diagnosis. The GP will access patients and decide if they are ready for treatment or if they require further diagnosis. Build a room, click on the rooms button. More plan. Okay. That's as big as it needs to be. We should have all those windows right there. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, how do I do this? Is that my put the door right here? There we go. How do you rotate? Oh, okay. That's it. There. Got it. There you can sit right there. Oh, 
probably need a door, a desk, and a filing cabinet. Rotate your game view. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, let's put it over here out of the way. Whoa! There you go. That's not bothering anybody. Click the green tick. Where's the green tick? There's the green tick. Alright. Hire a doctor. You're listening to Nigel Bickleworth. Nigel who? On Two Point Radio. Welcome back to your favorite radio station with the vastly overqualified Sir Nigel Bickleworth. I'm here to inform, to entertain, and to bring some small measure of sophistication to your drab little lives. Should any of you have any requests for popular tunes, as I believe people like to call them, do not hesitate to depress that impulse. I have no intention of playing any of that drivel. Um, okay. Okay, that's how you rotate. There you go. Oh, the desk is backwards. There we go, fixed it. Sorry about that. In the event of an epidemic, please try not to panic. Huh. Diagnose a patient. All right, here comes a patient. Hello, sir. You come to get diagnosed. Uh. Yeah, okay. Diagnose our first patient. The GP has sent you a message. Have a look at the message. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, grout. Grout is frequently transmitted in bathrooms, and modern medication is effective, unlike earlier times when it had to be dug out painfully with a screwdriver. Oh my god. The patient is seeking treatment will need a pharmacy in order to treat them. It will cost $7,600 to build. Alright, well you just hang on one second, I will get you a pharmacy. Pharmacy gets to go over here by the door. What is this? Drug mixer. Uh, okay. Need a higher nurse? Okay, higher. Wait, is that all I need? I guess so. Wait, what happened? I, I built the pharmacy. I thought. There's the door. There's the drug mixer. Oh, I forgot to hit the... I forgot to hit the check mark. Of course. <laughs> Alright, well, we have everything we need to diagnose and cure an illness. Alright, we got the receptionist going. Some of people are in here. Oh, she's getting her beds. Patients are asked to get better or expire. No fluctuating. Oh, uh, okay. <coughs> is that how it works? Monopoly Man is giving you medication. Oh, okay. Are you waiting to come in, sir? Patient has been cured. Well done. We cured our first patient. We've earned some money, and the hospital's reputation has improved. 
which will attract more patients. When a doctor or nurse treats a patient, their ability will influence the chance of success. Some illnesses are tougher than others. Continue diagnosing and treating patients to keep the money coming in so we can expand the hospital. We just cured our very first patient. Yay! All right, revenue six thousand. We are expensive. Our profit loss two thousand. Eh. We got some money to work on it though. Let's see. Chairs and maintenance. Now that we've got some expensive machinery, we can think about looking after it. Machines will deteriorate with use. You need to repair them. Machine falls, disrepair. It'd be a fire hazard. Fires are generally considered uh, bad for business. Hire a janitor to maintain machines. While you're at it, make sure we've got some fire extinguishers nearby. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, that's self-explanatory. Extinguishers. Can I go on the wall? Just... Oh, you can set one inside. Okay. Oh, okay. Why we need one in here, but uh, uh you no, know I want to put one behind the desk just in case. You never know. It's important to keep your people and staff happy. Patients get bored. Eat food, drinks, comfy seat. I was just getting to that. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. There you go, I got a seat for you. I'll put one over here too, just for the heck of it. Drink machine. And a sack machine right here at the front. Kind of pretty much a waiting room. Yeah, I'll make pretty much just like the waiting room. And then, you know, the pharmacy's right here, so once you go, you know, you've got the waiting room and the pharmacy, so you can your stuff and go. Well, maybe I should be this whole area the waiting room. Eh, well, you know, it's our first time. It's okay. Leaflet stand. Oh. <laughs> Pamphlets go by the desk. Oh, well, okay, look, go right here. Oh, wait, no, that's not gonna work. Right? Oh, okay, they can do it from there, but not from there. Okay. Keep moving. I'll pick up. Alright. Uh. Holistics oh, is apparently going to open another of its Staffer. nature communes for sick people with more sense than money. Fortunately, I have equal amounts of sense and money. Staff room right here. Open the door. I think it's like a break room. That's yeah, a small break room. Alright, we don't have a lot of staff. So we'll just go with this for now. I like the music in this game. Staff room when they're on a break, fill the room with interesting items to help them become fully refreshed. Okay, I need to turn this game music down just a little bit. It's starting to get on my nerves. Uh, turn the DJ off. There we go. That should be better. Hopefully, it wasn't overpowering me the whole time. Quick save. Alright. So cool, we got a little staff room with a uh, I don't really have a drink machine in there. I guess I could put a drink machine in there. Drinks and snacks are great for keeping people happy, but they can lead to littering if there are no bins. 
Of course! That there. Put a bin out here in front of the door. There you go. That's the best place for it. And by the front door. Right there. Yeah, why not? Alright. Toilets? Uh, toilet room now. That's alright, we need bathrooms. Oh, the toilet. Well, no, that's the office. Ah, uh, toilets usually should be near the waiting room. Wait, is this too good? Ha ha! Uh. Patients are reminded to stay away okay. from the light. <laughs> what was? <laughs> That's funny. Well, no, maybe. If I do it like this, though, I'd have more room. What not? No. Oh, you can't do them like that. Nope, okay, I just do it like that. It looks better that way. Two toilets. Uh, sink. Two sinks. Oh, I am digging this. Oh, crap. Seriously, not big enough. Come on. I'm gonna just move this door. There we go. Screw it. That's good. That looks fine. Sitting there dwelling too much on the bathroom. <gasps> Is that the open door? Okay. Interesting having open doors in a hospital for a bathroom. We're hearing reports of some new illness in town. These might be harder to diagnose, but may need to build new diagnosis room. If the GP isn't certain, they will send a patient for further diagnosis. Oh, really? Returning patients and their chronic conditions are welcomed back to the hospital. You expand the hospital, more staff, level increases, it gets busier. Okay, the queues get long, we're ready to build more offices. Watch out for queue warnings above rooms. Okay. Well, I gotta build a diagnosis room first, just hold on. Okay, because I want to put this in the right spot. I want to plan this properly. Alright, alright. I'm not sure. I gotta send you across the hospital. <laughs> It'll be convenient to have it on the same hall as the rest of the docks. Yeah, maybe I'll do it that way. Okay. Second opinion room is... Well, we'll see you down the general diagnosis. I mean, uh, what you call it? Oh, wait, am I picking the right thing? Yeah, okay. What's this? Uh, door. General diagnosis room. Uh, do I need another doctor? I think. Yeah, probably so. Ooh. 
There we go. Wait, what? Can't. Who works in general diagnosis? Ah, oh, crap. Uh, uh, I gotta build a new office. Okay, hold on. Wait, who do I hire for the general diagnosis? T oh, nurses. Okay, well, I had to hire two doctors anyway. I gotta build a doctor, another office. The nurses go in here, I assume? Yeah, okay. Now I gotta build another doctor's office. I can just build right here next to the other one. Oh, that dang trash can out the way. I thought I had it in a good spot. There. Got the doctor's office, got the nurse's office, or the general diagnosis or whatever. Alright, cool. Earn $15,000. Oh, almost. Oh, I got it. Okay. And get it to level four. Alright, let's see what we got. Everything's functioning pretty good. Doctors have exhausted all forms of diagnosis available for a patient. We need to build another, other diagnosis room. Uh. Uh, well, I got a ward here. I can build a ward. this a screening oh uh, oh yeah I'll put it by the window <gasps> oh okay I see now How many beds is, are you supposed to have in there? Two? Lost and found report. Ham sandwich. Partially eaten. Do 
Oh, it's not big enough. There we go. Wards can be used for diagnosis and also to treat a range of illnesses. The nurse is required to admit each patient, look after them, and discharge them when they are ready to leave. Add multiple beds to a ward to deal with more than one patient at a time. You can also adjust the number of nurses that should work there in the room setting. Oh, okay. Maintenance announcement. Bins will become full. Good, increase the level. Cool. Hospital star rating. The two-point health ministry is uh, keen to recognize the achievements of every hospital. Yada, yada, yada. Get rated nice. All right, cool. Here are three patients with light-headedness. All right. To repair like completing pizza. objectives and challenges, our organization earns kudos. If you can use this to unlock items in any of our hospitals, check out the items list. Items list. Uh, that's what kudos is. Where's my kudos? Oh, I have 80. Okay. Oh, okay, that's cool. You got a bunch of stuff, but you got to unlock the case. Okay. Gotcha. Maintenance announcement. Automated stack machines huh. need restocking manually. Wait, do I need another janitor? Probably so. I'll hire another one. Ooh. Ooh. Drink machines, fix them. Alright, alright. Probably need to add another uh, mixture to this place. Oh, I can't. Uh. Oh. Is there not something to sit on? What? Lightheaded? Oh my god, they're lightheaded! Literally lightheaded! Uh. Huh. Oh my god! Uh -huh. I put some uh, benches out here by the doctor's office. There, now I have two receptionists. Handle the flow. Oh, I got two patients in the ward. What? What was that? Did somebody die?
Oh dear, a patient appears to have returned from the dead. We will need a janitor with a ghost capture qualification. What? Huh? Qualify janitor to combat ghost, please. Uh, we're just ghost? Oh my god! Uh, Nick, what's going on here? Deluxe clinic required. Our doctors have discovered a new illness. Okay. Patient away. Okay. Uh, patient dies. Something, or sometimes a part of them remains. The most terrifying part, sadly. This can be quite upsetting for those of us still clinging on to life. Not only that, but ghosts are messy blighters. Leaving a trail of ectoplasm, they also have a habit of dematerializing and popping up elsewhere. Janitor has to have a ghost capture qualification. Okay. There's a ghost janitor. Too bad I just hired one that didn't have that. Hey, help us out here. Get him! Get him! Oh yeah, that's how you do it. Nurse required in general diagnosis. Awesome. Am I going to clean that up? Alright, cool. Deluxe Clinic. Oh, God. Okay. Um, I want to put that over here. What is this? Deluxe Deluxe. Console. Oh, that's always nice. Well, let's get a extinguisher just in case. Healing review imminent. Well, what's going on? They're an award ceremony. What's this? Oh, I got Doctor of the Year award, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, and I got some money and I got, uh, God, whatever the heck it is. Oh, I didn't win Janitor of the Year. Oh, I didn't win that either. Yay! Okay, Employer of the Year. Oh. What's the prestigious hospital? Dang it! Alright, Patient Choice Award. Come on now. Pick me up. Ah! Well, dang. I tried. I'm sorry. I got some of them, though. Alright, cool. Our doctors have done uh, another lightheaded. I need to make the deluxe plank. That's what I was doing. So I can carry the lightheaded this. I had it and it went away. Oh, come on. Alright, there it is. The light-headed curing room. What do you need for this place? I already got a doctor. Get your light head in there. What, uh, how do we cure this? What is this? Oh my god. Oh! He has her head! Uh, okay, you have been cured. Oh, now what's wrong with you? I cured your lightheadedness. Treatment failed. 
What? Oh. Uh. What the heck? Oh my god, she's a ghost. Ghost hunter. Dude, this guy sucks. Do you know what you're doing? Are you qualified still? Do you need training? Is he cured? Okay, you cured that guy, but you can't cure the other one. Alrighty then, I guess. We're pissed. our objective here. I think I have a case of the lightheadedness. Yeah, too many janitors, I figured as much. The fauna are reminded not to disturb the flora. Alright, got rid of that one. The other one's ghost hunter. So there. Wait, I don't want to hire a new one though. Oh, he has to get diagnosed first. Good lord. So I do need to hire another doctor because he's just going to be running back and forth. Good lord, man. Oh, he's asleep. Alright, go get your head fixed, man. Fix this man's head! Hospital Administrator. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one-star rating. <laughs> That's one out of a possible three by the Two Point Health Ministry. I have retrieved your file from my bin to celebrate. Oh, okay. Continue to develop your enterprise in Hogsport for further esteem and trinkets. If you believe that you're capable of more, alternatively, run before you can walk and begin to expand your organization by opening a new hospital in Lower Bullocks. Or lower bollocks, whatever. <laughs> the choice is, as they say, yours. Or as they say, is yours. Yours fragrantly. Uh, health minister. Okay, cool. A little jumbled up on the reading there. Got $10,000. Kudosh. You got 100 Unlock new locations and a poster. Cool. All right. Uh, cure 25 patients. Get $200,000. Get the level Doctor six. required in GP's office. Okay, well this seems like a little uh, undertaking here, but I like it. This game's pretty fun. I like the style too. Character style. Looks, you know, kind of fun. And it's not too morbid, this game. You know, they, they kind of put a light spin on the uh, diseases and stuff. So, you know, you got like sad over here to make it a hospital, which is pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, I will definitely play some more of this in the future. So drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.